Give him another shot. He'll come out. Are you sure there's one in there? Yeah. It's probably coming in there. He probably killed it already. No. Nah. Oh, there you go. Yep, there you go. Oh, you killed it! Let's go! Alright, guys, hey, y'all, welcome back to another Cooking with Taylor, man. This video is a little different. It's a catch cleaning cook, baby. I catch the critter, the animal, the fish, the whatever, and we cook it, baby. Okay. So, without further ado, let's cook. Little squirrel legs, baby. Y'all make sure to like this video, because this is going to be delicious. Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It is Taylor freaking Campbell, y'all. It's going to feel great when I walk outside. I'll piss off the porch with a deer on my sides with a new shotgun and a four-wheel drive. I guess you could say country boys can survive. Now that I'm knee-deep in the creek with mud between my daggum feet, I know now without her, I'm doing better. What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be freaking cooking some squirrel baby Subscribe if you're new and hey man, we have fun over here, we do a lot of fun stuff I'm going to show y'all me actually getting the squirrel And then we're going to be right up in here cooking the dang thing Come on man You shoot today, it's never coming right now come right now? Yeah I just shoot him down with shotgun yeah, two What was that, 22? Give him another shot. He'll come out of there. Are you sure there's one in there? Yeah. We saw him come in there. He probably killed it already. Nah. Oh, there he comes. Maybe. Yep, there he is. Oh, you killed him! He shot that bitch right in the chest. Hey, I... oh, right in the fucking mouth, bro. I shot that motherfucker in yeah, the face, bro. Oh, right in the right right. shot, bro. Damn. Damn. That southern oh, fuck, dude. Right, right head shot. Head. 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 That's That's right. Don't do that, out. Connor. You, you can't put that on your video. You can. You too. The first squirrel. squirrel brain's not for supper, boys. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, it is a male. How she's in the music video? It's a little female. So. What if it's pregnant? She ain't pregnant. No. I What's mean, it? uh, no. it's you gonna eat it. <laughs> well, we can skin her up. No, 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 no. Skin that. Already done. Chopped the hind legs off, so this is all we got. It wasn't a big squirrel, so we couldn't get a whole lot of meat off of him. Uh, could have could have cooked the whole body if you wanted to. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people that do that. We gonna be frying them up. We just gonna get ready and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna walk y'all through everything that we do, okay? All right, y'all. We got most of our stuff right here. We got our flour based. We're gonna have our oil. We're gonna have our skillet. Okay, and then we come over here. We're gonna have our freaking squirrel legs, baby. These are looking phenomenal, man. These are looking really good, really freaking good. We're gonna dab them off. We're gonna still clean them. I see a little hair. A little hair still on them. I got to get them off. Yeah, there we go. There's the hairs. Yeah, we got to get them off. Like a hot, spicy kind of fryness to it. And I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do by that. So, well, we all stay tuned, man. All right, y'all. So, we did clean our hind legs off our little back legs. We're going to let them sit to the side a little bit. And uh, we're going to start on our special sauce. And then we're going to make our flour base, okay? Let's get this rolling, baby. All right, y'all. The stuff I got in front of me, we got complete seasoning. We got roasted garlic herbs. We got pepper. We got flour. We do have our butter. We melted the butter in here. We're going to be putting the Russian garlic. Dude, this is literally, I think, from Russia. I'm not kidding you. And then we're going to have our flour in this bowl. And then we're going to have our vegetable on the skillet. We got this bad boy. We're going to be making our own like honey glaze after we do fry them. We're only going to do it to one of them because I want to keep one regular. Um, just, you know. Just because, hey, if you were out in the woods surviving, you wouldn't have all this junk to cook with, okay? You would have, you know, you, probably your boiling water or over your fire, your grill, or maybe if you did have a skillet, maybe you, you have some oil. You know, who, who, where'd you get some oil, man? I stole it from the neighbor's house during the zombie apocalypse. 
So all this stuff in three, two, one. Boom, baby. All right, so we do got our bowls. We got our flour mix. It's already looking all freaking delicious and pretty up in there. Now we do have our hot sauce mix with butter, okay, with butter. We do have our skillet. Got the oil on there. It is cooking, all right? Now, let's start off with you, dude. Now, what we gonna do is a couple times in the hot sauce, you gonna get it lathered up, you know, and then you will dip it in the flour. Get it around in the flour. Do it back in the hot sauce. Okay, once you dip back in the hot sauce, you dip back in the flour. And then by then, if it's really floury, really crusty, the way we like it over here, we might put some crumbs on it, if we do have any. Um, but other than that, we're going to toss them up in there, let them fry, go brown on every side. And I believe you have the best squirrel leg you're going to eat, baby. Now, I've done multiple ways on how to cook squirrel. I've boiled them. I've cooked them over the grill. I've... This is actually the second time I've done this. So, you know, there's multiple ways you can honestly cook squirrel. Ain't it really anything? So, y'all, while the oil's heating up right here, we gonna get ready to uh, douse this bad boy. All right, hot sauce up first. You're going to douse that thing, baby, just like this. Get it just looking like that. It's dripping real nice. And then we're going to just put it up in the flour, baby, just like that. Make sure we get everywhere. All right, make sure y'all see that real good. But make sure not not to really move it a whole lot because it will clump the first time. You see how it's clumping on my fingers just because of that hot sauce? Yeah. So be careful when you're doing that. Dip it back up in the hot sauce. Uh, you know, the hot sauce will get all up around that just like that, you know, once again. Then you're going to put it back up in the flour, baby. If you want to, you can... Uh, Shake it around a little bit. It's better to have a shaker, you know, not get get your, get it everywhere, get your hands dirty or whatnot. But, dude, we got probably one of the best looking ones I've ever done, dude. While we wait on that, I do want to show y'all something, okay? Oh, yeah, baby, we got some fish fillets up in this thing, baby. These are some crappie. I just caught them yesterday, so by the time y'all see this video, it would, I done caught them and ate them by now. Um, but, 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 crappie fillets, man, we're going to blacken these. This is for a whole nother video, whole nother catch, clean, and cook. Can't wait to drop that one. We'll just wait a few minutes and, uh, wait for this oil to start sweating and, uh, start sizzling. Throw the, and then we can throw the squirrels on there. One way to check your oil to see if it's good enough, you grab a little bit of flour just like this and you know, uh, dab it up on there. Not quite yet ready. Still needs to get heated up a little bit, but a couple more minutes. All right, y'all. So, come in. We're going to check it once again. Oh, yeah. That old sizzling, baby. So, what we going to do, we got our nice, nice squirrel leg right here. We're going to put it up in there, baby, just like that. Come on. Just like this. Woo! Look at it sizzling, baby. We're just going to give her a few minutes on each side. Kind of equal it out. It's going to be nice golden brown. A little bit, uh, I believe this is going to be freaking good. All right, y'all, we're just going to be flipping it right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, baby. So just a couple more minutes, we're going to keep flipping it, make sure it's all good and cooked and even. I give about a couple more minutes, she'll be done. And then we got this other one. We're just going to be straight cooking him. Probably a little bit, probably a little seasoning, salt and pepper. Just to give it something, but we're just going to literally throw it on the skillet uh, so let here what is this good bit we're just gonna grab a mini plate all right the meat is literally falling off looks like the fries uh all right so we got our we're gonna let it sit make sure because there is still grease on it if you if you ever cook bacon it's like bacon okay the oil and everything will cook or you just let it sit. It's like a steak. Well, it's still warm. You let it cook. When... All right, guys. So, honestly, what we're really going to do with this bad boy, we're going to get some butter. Don't want to burn it. So, that's about, that's, that's about good. Stick our bad boy on there. All right? Just like this. And come here. Look at him moving, getting cooked like that, baby. All right. And what we're going to do is put a little bit of salt. Now what we're gonna do is just let them cook just like that. And then uh, 
We'll put them on the plate. We'll try them both, see how they both taste. So we do got our freaking honey. We got our squirrels. We got the fried one right here, the deep fried one. We're going to have to put some honey on that joker. All right, just like that. All right. And then we got our just regular grill master chef, that thing, original. Plain, just pepper and salt with butter. Um, we're going to... You know what, dude? Which one do you think we should start off first? The fried or the regular? The regular. The regular? Okay. So survival one on one. And it just literally came off the came off the stove top. So survival one on one squirrel. We're gonna see how it see how it is, baby. Come on. You can get a closer up bite to it. We're gonna get a good bite. That one right there, yeah. Bro, you want to try that? Mm. Dude, that's all. You got it. That's some good stuff, man. For real. That's some good stuff. Wow. I think that butter and that salt really put it together. Just to make it decently good. So, y'all... The last one right here. Now, before I do eat the best one, maybe, possibly, yet, make sure y'all like this video, okay? Smash that like button, baby. Let's cheers to this one. All right. Let's see if we can get a good bite somewhere, like right here. Mm. Bro. That ain't bad at all. Here, give me a camera. Try that, over there. Get you a good beat, good bite. Get you a good bite, yeah. We did about that one. The honey. The honey, the honey glaze put it, put a difference on that, dude. Yeah. Kind of spicy. Kind of spicy. Yeah, we did, because we, yeah. The, that was uh, garlic hot sauce. Grab it from the refrigerator, it's like right there. Yeah, right here. Freaking Russian or Russian garlic, Russian garlic nice. hot sauce, Russian garlic hot sauce. Now, you could definitely taste the uh, the heat, the hotness of the hot sauce for sure. But dude, that honey puts a sweet, nice, sweet, nice taste to it. I mean, God, I mean, look at that. Oh, shoot, man. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. I hope y'all did enjoy it. It, it was pretty good. It, it was good, man. It was, it was good stuff. I'm about to finish this plate up. Make sure y'all do go follow all my other socials, okay? Go check out America Fetcher at americafetcher.com. Brody, kick us out of here, man. Noggin'.